think engineering and nursing lang ang pwede mo kunin sa STEM strand, then this video will change your mind. Hi guys, this is Lexi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog, I'm going to share with you the most popular and not so popular college courses for STEM students other than those of engineering and nursing. So if you're excited, just keep on watching! Dahil na sa Asia Time Technology, maraming courses ngayon na related sa programming, computing, and developing ang sikat ngayon, katulad na lang ng computer science. Computer science teaches students how to solve a complex software, how to design a game, and many others. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, madalas ay nagiging game developers yung mga graduate ng computer science. But guys, beware kasi ang computer science is not the same as computer engineering. Number two, I Raja Technology. So this is a very good program since you're going to learn how to operate medical equipment. So ano ba yung mga medical equipment? So ang katulad na lang yan is yung mga X-ray, EEG, CT scans, MRI, and other brain imaging techniques. So, galing dun sa equipment, they interpret the images para malaman if may mali ba sa katawan natin or wala. Di ba ang cool? Kaya if you're techie and you love medicine, then Red Tech is one of your choices. Isa rin ito sa mga paboritong courses na kinukuha sa STEM strand, which is the architecture. Usually, it takes up 5 years sa pag-aaral ng architecture. And guys, hindi lang ito pag-design ng bahay. You also have to be very meticulous sa structure, sa materials na gagamitin, and minsan nagiging engineer ka na din at the same time. In architecture, you will have subjects related to plumbing, lighting, mechanical, and even electronics, and many more guys. So kahit feeling mo magdodrawing ka lang, no, because this course is very technical. Number 4, I Information Technology. So this is also a good 4-year course for techie students out there because you will study about the networks and security, maging web developer, o kaya naman mag-create ng mga mobile applications. So reminder lang guys, the difference between IT and computer science is that computer science literally makes the program. Pero yung mga IT people, they install and manage these programs. Number five, I respiratory therapy. So from the name itself, respiratory therapy focuses on lung therapy treatments. Guys, dito kayo matututo how to take care of people that have difficulty in breathing o kaya naman mayroong cardiopulmonary diseases and even how to administer the drugs or yung gabot nila sa lungs through inhalation. Konti lang talaga yung mga nag-o-offer ng BSRT here in the Philippines and ang alam ko, nasa Manila lang sila katulad ng Perpetual Health and ng Our Lady of Fatima. Actually, yung tita ko, she's a graduate of BSRT sa Fatima and now she's in her ortho residency. It only means na ang respiratory therapy ay magandang pre-med program. Another sikat na pre-med course here in the Philippines is medical technology. And guys, I remember two of my best friends are taking medtech sa NU or National University. And I swear, they're very knowledgeable about parasitology, microbiology, urine analysis, paggamit ng microscope, kumuha ng dugo at magturok nun, and so much more than that. So I believe na kung gusto mo ng challenging yet fun na 4-year course, then maybe medtech is for you. Number 7 is Biochemistry. So guys, this is one of the most, the hardest course ever. Kasi naman be, pinagsama kasi siyang Chemistry and Biology. Diba? Super scientific pa rin yun. So Biochem is a combined science of chemistry na may konting physics and biology or life sciences which consist of zoology, botany, and genetics. So after mong graduate ng BS Biochem, you can pursue medicine o kaya naman maging forensic expert sa mga crime laboratories. O diba ang astig? Number 8 is Mathematics. So BS Math is a 4-year course program na more on sa application ng mga kaaway nating math. Tulad na lang ng Algebra, Statistics, Probability, Advanced Calculus, and iba pang math na ayaw ko nang malaman. <laughs> 
Actually, yes, sino pang may gustong mag-major sa math, guys? Pero, sure na ba kayo sa mga desisyon nyo? <laughs> but if you're really interested about mathematics, hindi kita pipigilan, Gora, BS Math. <laughs> Number nine is dentistry. So guys, this is one of the most satisfying job ever. Like, kung hindi ako nag psychology, I may have been interested in dentistry. Guys, hindi lang pagbunot na mipin ang ginagawa ng mga dentista. It takes a lot of experience and patience sa pag-aaral ng clinical science and public health. Usually, it takes up to six to eight years bago ka officially tawagin DMD. So, DMD ang tawag sa mga graduate ng dentistry ng ibig sabihin ay Doctor of Dental Medicine. So, if you want to know kung ano nga ba at paano nga ba nagagawa ang braces, then maybe ito na ang sign para mag-dentistry ka. Next is food technology. So guys, kilala nyo ba si Shin Hari ng business proposal, yung K-drama? She's actually a food researcher. And anong course yun? Food technology. Hindi rin masyado sikat tong course na to, but as of 2024, parami na ng parami ang kumukuha ng food technology. It teaches students about the makeup of the food, yung processing, nutrition, and even engineering. So guys, maganda rin to kapag gusto nyo mag-business ng food in the future since this program also provides managerial skills and entrepreneurial skills. Practically, all medicine, science, and mathematical courses can be seen in the STEM strand. Super dami pa talaga ang college program under this strand, so if you want a part 2, then just comment it down below. Pero, if you're an incoming STEM student, then you might want to watch this video dahil dyan ko sinabi ang mga STEM subjects at nilalaman ng buong STEM strand. So, I'll see you on that video. Bye!